This is designed and created to carry on Muhammad's legacy, and it looks very different than the rest of the exhibits. Two new exhibits are coming to the Ali Center with 1,600 square feet of new space. Generation Ali is the first one to be unveiled, offering visitors a connection to Ali's six core principles. To teach young people about a culturally diverse life. The center's second exhibit will be temporary. It centers the discussion on race from a cultural, biological, and historical standpoint. It's called race. Are we so different? And as you know, there's probably no issue right now in this community and in this country that is more important than race relations. Working in tandem with the openings, Muhammad Ali's humanitarian awards are set to welcome to the city some of the world's hardest working philanthropists and humanitarians. It'll also be the first time the greatest won't be there. Muhammad was a greater humanitarian than he was a professional fighter. Cindy Hensley McCain, the wife of Senator John McCain, will be celebrated for her work in human trafficking, along with Lou Gossett Jr., who founded the E-Racism Organization. Award winners this year span the globe in multiple industries looking to make life better for others any way they can. We have a gentleman from Germany, Jacob, who sells eyeglasses for one dollar. We have an individual, Kurt, who is an environmentalist.